In this video I will show you how to build a green 100 milliwatt laser pointer. This laser pointer also has a potentiometer to regulate the output power. This is a typical laser pointer you can get from eBay or Amazon. I got mine from Amazon and it broke unfortunately a while ago. These are also not that great because they're actually infrared lasers and the infrared light is converted into green light, but that's not 100% efficient, so they actually still have a lot of infrared light. This laser actually uses a true green laser diode, so there's no infrared light coming out, and you can regulate the power with a potentiometer, and I reduce the power a bit as well, so the lifetime should be much longer. This is the laser diode I'm going to put into my laser pointer. This is a PLT 5520B. I got this from eBay for around 20 euros, including shipping. I actually broke this one already. They're a bit sensitive against static electricity, so you have to be careful with that. If you look at the datasheet, you can see that you can drive it with 330 milliamps. However, the text down here says operating outside these conditions may damage the device, operating at maximum ratings may influence lifetime. If you look at another section of the datasheet, we can see a graph of the milliamps flowing and the optical output power, and we can see that 330 milliamps is way outside this graph. So I'm just going to drive it at 260 milliamps and this is going to place us still above 100 milliwatts of output power, of optical power. And this hopefully increases the lifetime of our laser. So it's definitely useful to check out the datasheet of your components and check if you really have to drive it at full power. Alright, now to the electronics part. I did a bit of work already. This is a constant current source for LEDs, but you can also use this for lasers. I got this from eBay as well. And you can dim this by putting a voltage on a pin. So I made a voltage divider up here. And this is just a LDO and a uh, resistor and a potentiometer. What you have to be a bit careful with is you can't just build a voltage divider with the right voltage for this thing. I would suggest building it on a breadboard and then trying it out until you get the correct current from the current source. Also my constant current source is using 6 volts so I had to put the boost converter on the input because I want to supply it with a single cell lithium battery. And then the lithium battery is going to get a charge discharge protection board. Now I made a housing for the whole electronics and the laser. I put most of the electronics in heat shrink tubing already. I also added a switch on the side so we can switch the laser on and off. And then the lithium battery is connected with a charge controller and I think if everything is wired I will test it with the LED. Then I'm going to put the laser in here in the front. Alright, now I put everything together, put the battery on the charge and discharge board and it works. And like I said, we can turn the brightness up and down and now I just have to put in the laser diode. Like I said, you have to be very careful with static electricity. Uh, I broke one already, so they're pretty sensitive. So I'm going to ground everything so there's no buildup of static electricity. And I'm going to solder the laser diode directly to the board so I don't have to touch any wires. Alright, this is the laser diode. From now on I'm going to work on aluminum foil, which is grounded. And you can see here on the laser that I soldered all the pins together, so there's no charge building up between the pins. And only after soldering the pins together, I pressed the laser diode into the housing. Now I'm going to have to solder some wires on the diodes, and because I have to undo the solder, I think I'm going to put like a little wire around the pins so they're still shorted out. 
All right, laser diode is on the driver board and luckily everything works. Then I only have to install the lens and back here there's this thing for protection. All right, now I have everything put together. Here's the lithium battery. The lithium battery is going to this charge discharge controlling board, then to a switch, to the boost converter and to the LED driver and on this thing is also the potentiometer thing that's controlling the brightness. The laser is strong enough to burn holes into plastic. Obviously then it can also pop balloons. And of course I have to use it as a laser pointer and I pointed it on a cooling tower of a nearby power plant. This point here is around 1.3 kilometers far away. And even after 2.2 kilometers, the laser is still reaching the cooling tower. And when it's foggy, you can see the laser beam pretty well. <laughs> 